This TikToker is mad she doesn't fit in the plane aisles. Now you may remember a similar story we did where this plus size influencer was demanding free extra airline seats. Moreover, she was claiming that it was fat phobic to not actually give her two or three extra free seats because she doesn't have ample space. My petition states, all plus size passengers should be provided with an additional seat or two or three depending on their size and need. Now somehow I missed another story about this TikToker named Olivia. Now she actually goes by Big Curvy Olivia and she's claiming discrimination for not fitting in the airplane aisles. Turns out we have transcended the seats and we have moved to the aisles now. Comparing this to the ground, the first situation is somebody getting mad at the taxi seats in a car, which is somewhat understandable. And this situation is someone getting mad at the road. Take a look at this absolutely ridiculous video where she's trying to fit. Honestly, it's discrimination that they can't build wider aisles in Airplanes 2023. First off, thank you, David Goggins, for that 100 mile run there. Turns out the video is actually sped up, guys. That actually took her 18 hours and 56 minutes. Haters will say I'm lying. If this isn't evidence that we are failing as a society at large, I don't know what is. Now, before we move on to some of her antics and some of the content she's been making off of this, let's just quickly address how dumb this all is. The fact of the matter is, if you are this big and you still want to fly a commercial airplane, you basically have three options. Option one is to obviously deal with it because you're not the only one who's actually inconvenienced by these planes. Tall people are inconvenienced and other people have different problems. For example, personally, I struggled with a lot of poop problems. Now, granted, I wasn't really flying that much, but the, the few times I did, it was really tough. Now, did I claim discrimination and order the airlines to exclusively make new toilets for me specifically? Nope, I basically sucked it up, held it in, and uh, shit my pants. Okay, I'm sorry to all the other passengers on that plane, but I really couldn't make it to the toilet, man. But hey, now it's a funny story, right guys? Right? Option two, you can purchase two or three extra seats in your economy class, or you can just fly business class or first class. Now, all of those options cost a lot of extra money, but the truth is that's how life works and you gotta pay extra if you were going to be like this. There's a very foreign concept, you know, preached by uh, Shaolin monks, right? It's called accountability for your goddamn actions. And option three, arguably the best one, probably just move to the luggage department. I really don't think they'll mind just to put you in with the other luggage as well because the, the weight is similar to the other luggage. Now, it probably won't be too comfortable, but I don't know, maybe if it's a short flight, probably take a nap and just be like, hey, that's I'm good. But to be completely honest, even that option, you'll probably end up paying a lot of money because people pay extra money to get heavier luggage, you know? So if you want to slot yourself in with the luggage, you'll probably end up paying even more than an extra seat. Now, moving on to the aisle itself, you honestly cannot expect the airlines to make the aisle bigger. I don't think these people understand how incredibly optimized planes actually are. Turns out the average commercial plane actually costs a hundred million dollars to maybe even up to five hundred million dollars. You really think they're gonna make the aisles wider just for you? Looking at it from a business perspective, they need to make back the money they spent, you know, the five hundred million dollars they spent on the goddamn plane. So they need to cram as many passengers as they can in an airplane, often at the cost of the customer's comfort as well. If you've ever flown in any plane, you never have leg room. Now, I definitely think you could probably go to the air Airlines and make a deal with them say that widen the widen the planes and you know I will give you my food budget that that probably balances out fact of the matter is it's a business thing there's really no like hard feelings there personally if I was president I'd put a bathroom every 20 steps uh, worldwide but unfortunately we can't all have what we want now there's a deeper problem here if you start looking into her TikTok account she is definitely catering to a certain audience that really loves fat people. I did a little bit of a deep dive here and turns out there's a bunch of videos of her like moaning and stuff. <laughs> and it's definitely weird. So these people don't just like her, they like like her. Now I definitely can't show you a lot of it, but I'll show you a little. Oh my God. 
Ah, the classic problem, you know, being being stuck between a, a tree and a table. Now, my question is, how, how did you get there in the first place? It doesn't really look like she's embarrassed at all, honestly. It's more of like a, look at look at my toddler who messed up their sandcastle type of shit. It's, it's meant to be like cute or something, which it's really not. It's like on the outside, she's like this little goof, but on the inside, her internal organs are literally screaming like, please, please nutrition. Future Pegasus here in her Instagram bio, it actually says she's a plus size model, a YouTuber, a hottie, and top 0.3% on OnlyFans. I have absolutely no idea who is paying for this. This is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> it looks everywhere. 750 pound capacity. I can't, you can't get in here or anything. No, I, I guess we could. Well, that was fun. In what world? is it normal for you to use a wheelchair elevator? Believe it or not, the 750 pound capacity is not for humans. It's meant for one human and the heavy machinery that they are sitting on. You know the, the heavy metal contraption they call a wheelchair? It's not for you. And I know they said it wouldn't break, but I really wouldn't test that theory twice. I really wouldn't be surprised if after this, she starts asking for one of these contraptions in every restaurant. Like I've never seen that anywhere before and I've been to a bunch of restaurants, okay? So that's gotta be like a really, really fancy place. Okay, you guys should really thank me here. I cut off that clip early. Basically after this, the camera turns and we see her backside and she starts moaning really loudly. And I cannot tell the difference between that and a video on the on the hub. So I'm definitely not putting that in the video, but if you're into that, I mean, you gotta go follow her account, I guess. It's very apparent she's appealing to these fat loving people. I hope this video made you feel better about yourself and please do not end up like this. Take care of your health. Now click this video or she sits next to you in the airplane.